Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick demonstration to show you how we'd actually use the OAuth that we set up in the last video. So right here I have the most minimal example possible. It is a single anchor tag right here that says the word Twitter. And uh, here's what it looks like. I use Create React app for this. And you'll notice the href goes to the location uh, that we set up our server that we need to go to. And that is the link that we were going to yesterday to test it out. Now, of course, when you're making this, you want to style this so it looks nice and whatnot, but this will work. And uh, really the goal when logging in a user is uh, afterwards to persist and to understand who they are. So when we click on this link, what's going to happen is it's going to take us to our server, which then is going to redirect us to Twitter. Twitter is going to basically uh, get who we are, our user, send it back to our server, our server is then going to pass back a cookie to this website, which we can then use that session throughout their whole browsing history to know who they are. So you'll notice right now uh, my cookies are empty. And when I click on Twitter, it'll go ahead and take me to apa.twitter for a second, and it brings me back. And notice how the URL changed. I'm now on some page. And then I also have the cookie now. So that is logging in the user. So now I can do all the requests that I want on this, uh, basically this website, this web application, and all this cookie to authenticate me. So that's how I was able to log in and use the OAuth that we created. Now to get this to work, I wanted to show you what I did on the back end. There's nothing that I really changed except where we're redirecting. So here I am now redirecting to the front end. So my front end is running on localhost 3000, so I redirect there. Um, and this is in the Twitter callback. So when Twitter comes back, we're setting the user ID. Um, and this is how we were able to send a cookie back. We're creating a session, and then we're sending them off to localhost 3000. Um, and then I just redirect to some page. This could be whatever page you want them to go to on the front end after they are authenticated. Um, the other thing that's important to note is uh, we set up cores right here and uh, cores the uh, process that in front end for me I have set to locos 3000 we're not testing so it's going to grab this basically you want to set the origin to whatever your local host is and in this case my local host is 3000 right here okay so that's basically a full example of how you get this to work um, I want to also show you real quick the intermediate step. So here is it working in uh, incognito. So when I click on Twitter, it takes me to this page. And this is what you should see um, if you've never logged in before. Now you'll notice when I did it on the other uh, Chrome tab, it would automatically just redirect back. And the reason for that is I'm already logged in with Twitter. But let's say your user is not logged in with Twitter. This is what they should see. And they should be able to put their username and email. And this is what's going to be sent back to our server, this information um, for the account that the user signs in with. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope that gives you an idea of how you can use OAuth um, and how easily you can now add it to any site you want. And they'll automatically be logged in and a cookie is stored on them. Uh, I'll see you soon.